Did you know that ladybugs bring good luck? Hmm, does it work with turtles dressed like ladybugs? Well, Shelly, we're gonna find... Ouch! Don't worry, I didn't get blood on your ladybug sweater. See? Good luck already. Why am I looking at the ceiling of your garage? Shelly's holding the phone while I find a Band-Aid. Ugh, a Band-Aid means a cut, and a cut means the B word that rhymes with flood that I can't even say without passing out. You mean this B word? Stop! It's like watching Shark Week. It's a tiny speck of blood. Compared to the gallons of blood inside our body, it's really... I'm hanging up. Sorry, Drew. I'm a big fan of blood. I mean, it really does everything. Blood brings oxygen and nutrients to different parts of our body, removes toxins and carbon dioxide, carries different kinds of proteins throughout our body, helps fight infections to keep us healthy. How in the world does it do all that? So glad you asked. The blood that your heart pumps throughout your body is actually made up of four parts. These are red blood cells. They pick up oxygen in your lungs and carry it to your organs, like your liver, kidneys, and brain. Am I hungry, or do those red blood cells look like donuts? <laughs> Their shape lets them squish through these tiny tubes called capillaries and travel around your body. A capillary highway. Hey, what's this one? That's a white blood cell. It fights viruses and bacteria that cause infections in your body. Boxing blood cells. Here come the platelets. They gather around cuts to stop the bleeding. That's called clotting. That reminds me. How's your finger? Fine. I didn't get to use my sparkly unicorn band-aid. So what keeps these different blood parts together while they're traveling? That's plasma's job. It's the liquid that helps blood cells, platelets, and proteins flow through your blood vessels. Carpooling is great for the environment. Way to go, blood. After the blood delivers all of the oxygen, it travels through our veins back to our heart, and the whole process starts all over again. In fact, our hearts beat about 100,000 times a day and pump almost 2,000 gallons of blood. Thanks, Nia. I'm definitely on board with blood. Look, I can even say it now. I'm proud of you. You know what? Maybe you should think about donating blood when you get older. Donating what now? Remember when we were in the hospital and I had a blood transfusion? I didn't have enough red blood cells, so they gave me blood from someone who donated it to a blood bank. No way! I thought blood banks only existed in that where do vampires keep their money joke. Blood banks are very real and very important. Blood donations save thousands of lives every year. And after you donate, they give you a cookie and juice to keep your blood sugar levels up and rehydrate your body. You could have skipped right to the cookie part. But yes, I definitely hope I can be a blood donor someday. Hooray! I'm glad my crocheting accident led to two good things. Dun da da da! That, that is just wow. <laughs> uh, Tater is gonna be so jealous. Lucky for him, I've got plenty of yarn. Mm -hmm.